What was the weirdest date you've ever been on? I matched with a Chinese exchange student on Tinder. She asked me to meet her at her apartment. Then we'd go link up with some of her friends at the waterfront. We're texting as I'm on the way over. And she days she didn't realize this was a date. Nonetheless, she asks me to pick up dinner for both of us on the way over. I get to her apartment. And before I can even take my jacket off, she says so. Do you have anything to say to me? Presumably because I'd spent 15 seconds in silence. I offer her the food she asked for. She said she wasn't hungry. I try to strike up a conversation, but she dead ends every topic I bring up. She starts texting and making phone calls. She was speaking Mandarin, presumably, but I was able to make it the name of the place we were supposed to meet her friends. She said something about how plans might change because her friend needs help. Throughout all this, I just sat by myself, eating my sandwich in silence. When I was finished, I asked if she just wanted me to leave. She said yes, then gave me $20 for dinner. You weren't her date. You were her Uber Eats driver. Third date with a guy from Hinge. Started of completely normal went to a pub for a few drinks. Pub closes. Guy invites me back to his. We get back to his and have a few more drinks. He then asks if I'd like to smoke a joint. Hadn't smoked for a few years but thought hey it'll be fine. End up feeling very sick and unable to move. Guy doesn't have a bucket or bowl so brings over the entire kitchen bin and places it next to me. He then suggests we watch a movie. Guy puts on American Psycho and I sit there for the next two hours paralyzed and paranoid completely convinced he's going to murder me. Also he lived on a boat. The one where I asked a girl out and she said yes and then brought her friend. And halfway through the date it dawned on me that she was trying to get me to like her friend. I had that one happen to me in college. Asked girl A to come watch a horror movie in my dorm. She ends up bringing girl B along with her. I'm like whatever still chilling with girls watching movies. Then it's kinda obvious girl A doesn't want to do anything and wants me to talk with girl B. But her friend girl B was pretty cool and attractive so I was okay with it. So then girl A says hey you should go to this date night party with girl B. I'm like okay whatever I'm down. End of night with girl B we start making out and I try making moves and she's like oh no this is so wrong girl A likes you. And I'm like WTF. Turns out they both liked me. And no, no threesome ending to this story or anything. Never got to do anything with either one. I was talking to dude on Tinder and decided to meet up with him for coffee one day. He only talked in impersonations of WWE wrestlers and then asked me to go to WrestleMania with him and his entire family later that night. So I was 18, in the Air Force, and living in the dorms. My roommate set me up with his girlfriend's cousin, and the four of us went to a movie. She brought a stuffed animal, not a tiny little thing some young women clipped to their keychain. It was a gigantic blue rabbit at least as big as a toddler. She said she brought it because she sometimes gets scared in movies we were seeing a comedy. After the movie, we grabbed some ice cream and drove the cousins home. My date invited me to kiss her at the door, but told me I should also kiss Pebbles so he wouldn't be jealous. Of course I kissed Pebbles. My date was actually out of my league hot, but crazy. Everyone always kisses Pebbles. I went on a four-hour date with a woman who rides horses for a living. The entire four hours she told me everything I could possibly want to know about horses and then some. I learned so much about horses that I done forgot most the shit she told me. That sounds like a stable relationship was going to go to a bar with a girl I met on Tinder. She showed up 15 minutes late, which wasn't that big of a deal. Got out of her car, crossed the street, and then awkwardly shook my hand. Told me she forgot her ID at home, apologized, and then left. Skeptical smiley face. Went on a first date where someone asked me why I cut my hair so short. I guess I could have lied or blown off the question, but I don't like to start anything with falsehood. 
So I told him that I had chemo for breast cancer, that I'll probably be completely fine now, and we absolutely didn't have to talk about it. He asked me a few questions about the surgery single mastectomy, and he said I wanna know which one it is, but I can't look at your boobs now. I told him if he could guess which boob got the axe, I'd buy the drinks and appetizer. He won, and I never saw him again. I'm positive I am the weirdest date that guy has ever been on. My first dating app date starts off pretty good. We barely put in our dinner order and her phone starts blowing up. Her ex was drunk and causing a scene outside her apartment. Her ex kept calling. Then her roommate started and then the landlord calls threatening to call the police. We get our food to go and I take her back to her apartment. Long story short, both her and her ex are crying messes. She goes inside, leaves me outside with crying drunk ex who starts telling me all about how he messed their relationship. Dude is way too drunk to drive. I end up driving him to his apt, Uber back to my car, realize my date took all the food with her. The joys of dating. You're a good guy for driving him home. Dated a man who corrected my Polish, because his grandmother was Polish and she told him how to pronounce some words. Mind you, I was brought up in Poland, went to school and college there, read a zillion books, saw a zillion Polish movies etc. But this guy was very condescending about my pronunciation of the few words he learned from his grandma. I was interested in this girl, and she kind of tricked me into a double date where she was dating another guy and had fixed me up with her sister. Being a good sport, I went along with it and it was awkward but okayish. But then she set me up with her sister again and this time it was just the two of us. We went to the park. She had filled the trunk of her car with troll dolls I mean dozens and dozens of them and spent the entire date introducing me to her trolls one by one. I should mention we were in our 20s. She was getting frustrated and angry because I didn't seem all that interested in her dolls. So sitting there, hands full of troll dolls, she exasperatedly asks me so are we going to have sex? Do you even know how to have sex? Um, not with you I don't. I said, and got up and walked home. There's only so much one can endure while being polite. You gotta pay the troll toll, if you wanna get into that girl's hole. Another one. I went on a date with this girl from Tinder. She super liked me and messaged first. So I was really happy to have someone interested. I asked if she'd like to go for a walk sometime and she said she'd love to. So we get to walking and like 5 minutes in. She asks if I have roommates. I said yes. I live with 5 people and tell her about a few of them. There's Max. Matt. Mark. Wait. Mark Smith. I know him, what's he been up to, so we start chatting about my roommate and she knows a lot about him, his family, the sports he plays, his girlfriend, every time I try to move the conversation somewhere else, she brings it back to Mark, she's not even pretending to be into me anymore, she's just fangirling out over my roommate, I just love him, his hair is always so shiny and he smells so nice. She spends the full two hours talking about him and asking all sorts of questions. I didn't really know what to do, so I just boredly keep answering. When we get back to our cars, she shifts gears again. Hey, so I had a really great time. Want to go back to your place to have some fun? She's really creeping me out at this point. So I tell her I have homework to do and maybe later. I get back and tell Mark about the date and he knows exactly who she is. He picks up his phone and immediately calls the police. They show up at the house find the girl outside in the backyard and arrest her for violating a restraining order or something. It turned out she was super unstable and had stalked my roommate since they went on one date almost a year prior. She recognized from photos she had of him and used me to find out where he lived. It's hard to say I was catfished cause the actual girl was there, but so was her boyfriend and her friend she thought I would be a better match with. What made it more odd, is she had sent nudes. Full face nudes not photoshop face swapped I could see the chest tat on her in person no mistaking that. On the first date I ever had, my whole family took the liberty to invite themselves. I guess by that point it wasn't even considered a date anymore. It was to the mall and I was 15 years old at the time. I suppose it was more awkward than weird but still.
Ugh why do families do this? I went on an awkward teen date when I was 14 or 15 with a boy who lived maybe 40 minutes away so our parents drove us to an ice cream place halfway between our towns and instead of giving us 90 minutes to ourselves, stayed and got ice cream too and just sat at another table. I may be remembering wrong but I think my brother was even there. No idea why. My parents usually weren't that overbearing. I did not continue to date the guy. When I was 15, a girl asked me to the movies. It was I love you, man. Her parents decided to attend too. Then one of the characters cursed like 10 minutes into the movie and the parents told us we were leaving. They took me right home and that was that. Dated a woman who didn't tell me she needed meds because she was psychotic. In the middle of dinner at a restaurant she got quiet and distracted. I asked if she was feeling okay. Apparently one of the voices told her I was a horrible person and she pulled a steak knife on me. A customer was able to talk to her and got her to put the knife down. The police were called and she was arrested. I didn't press charges. And about a week later, she sent me a letter with proof that she's been in counseling for a long time, takes medication and included a heartfelt apology. The girl took me to a cemetery at night, walked me to a grave, explained that it was her cousin and that night was the anniversary of his death, then told me a long story about the time he raped her. I went on a date with a girl to a bar and grill. The girl just got set free from a bad relationship. The bartender was her uncle, the server was her sister, and her fresh ex-boyfriend was there on a date with another guy went to the Church of Scientology, roped in with promises of free food. We were on a date for Christmas. So, so odd. They had us take the personality test and tried to break us up. They said we were completely incompatible, to the point of being toxic. We've been together 10 years.